Hello, how are you, Aleli? Hi, teacher. Aquí agarrando el primer asiento de la clase. Oh, no Spanish, Aleli, no Spanish, no Spanish. Tell me in oh, English. Ok, Aleli. ok. Ok, teacher. In English, in English, the same. Ay, my head hurts. No, no, no. The same, lo mismo que dijiste en español, in English. Go, Aleli. Um, how are you, Aleli? I, how are you, teacher? I am here in the first class. Okay, good. Getting there, you go. And why does your head hurt, Aleli? What happened? Stress. No, Aleli, the life is good. No stress. No stress. Yeah. The, the business is good. The no, no, is good. the business is good. No, teacher. No, I have delivery for the distribution. My, my, okay. Yeah. Mi producto. No puedo distribuir. No tengo delivery. ¿Por qué no? Um, no. I'm working uh, delivery uh, last, uh, con otro delivery. Estaba con otro. Uh -huh. um, he, the close of the, um, ¿qué? Cerró su negocio. Uh -huh. Y todos nos quedamos. Wow. Hello. Uh -huh. <laughs> Yes. Así que, I need you delivery uh, a nivel nacional. Necesito un delivery. Use in Uber? No. No, es muy caro. Oh, I imagine. Yes. I, uh, I need you, I need you I enviar. Need, you know, I need. I need. Uh -huh. Enviar. Um, Send? Paquetes, and send the packet. Mm -hmm. uh, the uh, San Miguel Uber is more money. Wow. Yes. Mm. Así que, I'm sorry for me. <laughs> yes. You have to find a solution. Maybe, uh, I don't know. There are many solutions, but maybe not good solutions. Yes. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, okay. y, 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 ¿Y su propio motorista? No. Mm, tendrían que ser varios, teacher. Porque eh, tengo siete, ocho paquetes uh -huh. para diferentes puntos del Salvador. Uh -huh. no, I, y no I puedo mandar a uno para San Miguel, otro para Santa Ana. O sea, no puedo. Tengo que esperar. More or less. I remember my when my friends started the business, when they began the business, they had for days, for example, Santa Ana, yes. Mondays, yes. San Miguel, yes. and then the one driver, Nimolo, today is Santa Ana, today is Morazan, today is, uh -huh. Uh -huh. But, like assignment, uh, package is right. Like an assignment, it? exactly. But I don't know, it's not, it? yes, it's, not, it's, it's not, maybe it's not functional, maybe it's not functional for your business, I don't know. Yes, no, my function. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, because uh, you have to, uh -huh, you have to find a solution because is is better one day go to San Miguel than no days go to San Miguel. Yeah. Yes. That's so true. I I go in tomorrow. Um, Soyapango, uh, Plaza Mundo, uh. Cojutepeque. Mm -hmm. um, I don't remember all other place. Okay. 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 So tomorrow you have to go to many places. Yes. Okay. Yes. And you are going to drive. Yes. Um, pero no puedo manejar ahorita. No me lo permite mi pie. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Uh, you remember I I have the accident um November la, uh, last years. I remember. November, um, yes, I break uh, I break uh, two and my foot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And still, you are continuing to recover. Yeah. Okay. okay. <sighs> 
Yes. Oof, it's going to be a difficult transition. A little stress. Yeah. A little stress. <laughs> yes, a little stress. Tequila, I might have. No stress. Two tequila, <laughs> the stress, goodbye. Goodbye, the stress. <laughs> oh, okay. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Well, welcome, uh -huh. everyone. I see we have Elvis and Cesar and Noen and Marvin. Welcome, guys. It's good to have you today. Today, we are going to be looking at super easy topic. If the name sounds complicated. The name sounds complicated, but it's not a complicated topic. This is called tag questions. Tag questions. Uh, Elvis, can you please read the objective for today? Okay. By the end of this lesson, participants will learn about tag questions for opinions. Okay. I'm going to explain to you a little bit before we watch the video. And it's very easy. Tag questions only confirm information. No ask for information. Only confirm. Like with Aleli, ya mandó mi pedido? No, no ask the question. Uh, mi pedido va en camino. This is the idea for tag questions. Is confirm information. The idea, yes or no. No ask for WH, what, where, when. No, only yes or no the information. Okay. Here is opposite. Normally in English is at the beginning. Okay. Example. Uh, normally is, uh, I say, Elvis, are you married? This is normally in the beginning. The question, do you like pupusas? Are you happy? In tag questions, I change because I confirm information. No, I ask for information. So I say, Elvis, you are married, aren't you? Ah, you are happy, aren't you? You like pupusas, don't you? So today, the important is two things. One, is for confirm information, and two is opposite the order, the normal questions. Let's watch a video to get a better idea to understand how to use and how to make these questions. Here we have tag questions for opinions. I will begin the explanation telling you when... Hi, welcome back. Let me ask you something. Learning English is easy, isn't it? I thought so. Tag questions for opinions. Affirmative statement plus negative tag. Health insurance is really expensive, isn't it? There are lots of criminals in the city, aren't there? Graffiti makes everything look ugly, doesn't it? Colleges should provide daycare, shouldn't they? Negative statement plus affirmative tag. Child care isn't cheap, is it? There aren't enough police, are there? People don't care about our city, do they? You can't find affordable child care, can you? I will begin the explanation telling you when to use tag questions. We use tag questions when we expect someone to agree with us or when we're asking for confirmation. This is how tag questions work. When a statement is affirmative, the tag question is negative. For example, learning English is easy, isn't it? Learning English is our positive statement. And isn't it is our tag question in negative. We may also do it the other way around. Negative statement, affirmative tag question. Child care isn't cheap, is it? I also want to explain that when we use be as the main verb, be is also used in tag question. Similarly, we use the same model in the main clause and the tag. For example, we should pay our taxes, shouldn't we? However, Simple present and past verbs use the auxiliary verb in the tag. For example, 
Graffiti makes everything look ugly, doesn't it? You found affordable childcare, didn't you? Hi, I'm sure you understood this topic, didn't you? In case you didn't, feel free to ask your teacher and watch the explanation if needed. Okay, so let me go back a little bit. There are a lot. This is the part that's very important. Here, we can see the usage and the structure of tag questions. Let's focus on the grammar. The grammar is two parts. First, we have a sentence. Positive sentence or negative is the same. First, we have a sentence. Then we have the tag. How do we make the tag? Is the opposite of the sentence. If the sentence is positive, the tag is negative. If the sentence is negative, the tag is positive. Now, part two, how do you know which is the correct auxiliary? When is, is, are, does, should? How do you know? It's super easy. It's like a normal question, okay? So here, the sentence is, Health insurance is really expensive. In the question, how do I make this sentence into a question? Well, in English, I know that it's only changed the position. For question, is health insurance really expensive? Correct? Right? So I know that the auxiliary, the auxiliary is my tag. Here, the auxiliary is, I put the opposite, isn't. Here, the auxiliary are, I put the opposite, aren't. Here, the auxiliary should, I put the opposite, shouldn't. But here is the verb. But if I ask Aleli this question, I put in a question, I put, does graffiti make everything look ugly? the normal auxiliary does, right? So that's why here I use the auxiliary for the tag does. It's okay, the idea? So in, in, this, in this kind of questions, it's like when you, you said, for example, um, in this case, in, in, instead of isn't or is, you use, for example, right. Uh, the teacher was explaining very clear the, the topic, right? So it's, it's the same idea. It's the same idea. Correct, Cesar. It's the same idea. Mm -hmm. The idea for the tag is that only to check the information. Hey, Cesar. You aren't married, right? You aren't married, are you? This is the idea. It's okay. the same function. Got it. Good. Anybody else? Any other questions? I'm sorry, I, I didn't listen. Now? Yes, a little bit better, yes. Okay. Example, uh, the traffic is heavy here, is it? It's Isn't the, it? Isn't it? The traffic, uh -huh, you see? The traffic is heavy in our country. Is, is it? Is. Correct. Isn't it? That is correct. Mm -hmm. okay. That is the idea for question tags. Teacher? Yes? Um. Uh, so this uh, are not question. Yes, uh, but they are. This is uh, sentences. No Normal sentences. No, they are questions. But the structure, the beginning of the structure. Let me show you. Let me share again with you one time. Okay, look, they have question. Question, question, question. But the beginning of the question is a sentence. 
The beginning is a sentence and the question is at the end. The question part is at the end, not at the beginning, right? So like when Cesar mentioned, right is not a question word, but is the idea for is a question, not for a sentence. Okay, it's confused. Don't worry, we're going to practice in this moment. That's why we have first the introduction and now we are going to have many links, many, many links today because it's very fast. So here, please check the chat. That way you have all of the links to practice with your partner. Copy them, put them in Word, or open them in the computer if you want. Mm -hmm. Because we have five exercises that we're going to practice to make sure that it's correct and that it's clear. Okay. Do you have the five links? Remember, copy and paste in Word or open the links because when we go to the groups, boosh, they disappear. Okay, we're ready. No, not yet. Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes. Okay, perfect. So we'll have is only select the tag. Only select the tag. So it's not a long time, but is learn how to use the tag correctly. Okay. So we'll have for we'll have uh, twelve minutes for the five links, and remember to check with your partners. Cesar Santiago and Laura Michel too. And teacher too. <laughs> okay. You open the the links are in the chat. Okay. Thanks. Question. Okay, I'm going to try to share my screen. Okay. Exercise negative tab. Yo comparto. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Ah, yo tengo dos links ahorita abiertos para que los para compartir. Okay. Okay. You, Luis. Okay. Sure. <laughs> okay. Sí, lo miren. You can see? No. 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 Okay. Okay. Okay, ahora sí. Okay. okay. It's, it's okay. raining. It's raining. It's, it's raining. It's, isn't it? It's... Oh, oh, no. Mm -hmm. oh. And plural and or, or singular? Yeah. Do you share the screen? I don't. If you do know. I try. I try. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Sí. I see okay. the screen. Mm -hmm. Nice. Es the first one, link. <laughs> okay. It's raining. It's ra uh, raining. It's raining, right? Isn't it? Isn't it? Is the last one, right? Yes. Yeah. I, I think. Her eyes because are green. Because is the sentences is positive, 
the tag is mm -hmm. negative. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. Her eyes are green. Um, her eyes are green. Um, aren't And Neda, are you having problems connecting? And Neda? Hello, Neda. You have some problems, correct? I listen the internet. Your internet connectivity is very bad. Uy. It's difficult to to hear you, Anita. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's raining by you. We're going to try to put you into group one more time. Let's see if you can connect. Peneda, no, no, no connect. No, teacher. Not possible, right, Oneida? Okay, finally. Oneida? No. Okay, don't worry. I'm going to share my screen with you and we can try it here. Mm. 
المايدا Okay, let me try it one more time. There we go. Lots of criminals in the city, aren't there? Griff. Hi, welcome back. Let me ask you something. Learning English is easy, isn't it? I thought so. Tag questions for opinions. Affirmative statement plus negative tag. Health insurance is really expensive, isn't it? There are lots of criminals in the city, aren't there? Graffiti makes everything look ugly, doesn't it? Colleges should provide daycare, shouldn't they? Negative statement plus affirmative tag. Child care isn't cheap, is it? There aren't enough police, are there? People don't care about our city, do they? You can't find affordable child care, can you? I will begin the explanation telling you when to use tag questions. We use tag questions when we expect someone to agree with us or when we're asking for confirmation. This is how tag questions work. When a statement is affirmative, the tag question is negative. For example, learning English is easy, isn't it? Learning English is our positive statement. And isn't it is our tag question in negative. We may also do it the other way around. Negative statement, affirmative tag question. Childcare isn't cheap, is it? I also want to explain that when we use be, as the main verb, be is also used in the question. Similarly, we use the same model in the main clause and the tag. For example, we should pay our taxes, shouldn't we? However, simple present and past verbs use the auxiliary verb in the tag. For example, graffiti makes everything look ugly, doesn't it? You found affordable childcare. Didn't you? Hi, I'm sure you understood this topic, didn't you? In case you didn't, feel free to ask your teacher and watch the explanation if needed. Okay, so what do we what are we talking about? Tag questions are only used to confirm information. We are not asking new information. We have the information and we only check if it's correct or if it's not correct what we are asking, okay? So you can't escape advertising nowadays. What is the correct tag? You look for the auxiliary and then after you find the auxiliary, you put the opposite auxiliary at the end, okay? That is the way to make the correct tags. There aren't enough gun control laws. What is the auxiliary? Correct, aren't. And then what do we put at the end? Correct, the positive are. Okay, now it's better, the idea of tag questions. Elvis, how do you feel? Is better or still confusing? 
um, it's better not uh, not to set uh, 100%, but I understand better. Okay, good. Remember, the clue or the tip is look for the auxiliary. The auxiliary mm -hmm. in the sentence is going to be the auxiliary in the tag. The only difference is the opposite. If the auxiliary is negative, the tag is positive. If the auxiliary is positive, the tag is negative. This is the important. Look for the auxiliary and then the topic. Okay. Teacher. Perfect, Raquel. I am, yes, I saw your chat, but I am the tallest, uh -huh. aren't I? Mm -hmm. eh, um, no entendimos por qué es R. Ah, okay, very good. Uh, I am, because when you make a question, make a question for me. You are, are you? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So are you? Because we don't make it for ourselves. You are asking the question. Remember, it's not a sentence. It's mm -hmm. structured like a sentence, but the grammar is question. The grammar mm -hmm. is question. That's why okay. are you the tallest? So mm -hmm. I say, ah, yes. And the answer, remember, the answer is I am the tallest. Okay. Question no is uh, I am yes yeah. are you mm -hmm. that's fine. Thank you. You're welcome. Very good question. So now with our but partners. This happened, oh, but sorry, this happened, sorry, I didn't listen. Yeah, but this happens just when you have a a negative tag question, right? For example, uh, I saw that in, in some cases, for example, I'm not the tallest. So am I? Uh, yes. Also, I, I am not the tallest, am I? The correct is many times they are going to use for, is different, is the tag, but also the passive. And there, no am, only are. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. So now with our partners, we have eight sentences or eight questions that we have to put the tag. So with our partner, we have to write the correct tag. This is in your platform, 5.7, 5.7. So now with our partners, we are going to have a few moments. We are going to write the correct form for the tag. Okay. We are ready? May I have a yes, question ready. For, to continue? Repeat. Oh, maybe a, a comment. May I have a question? Yes, of course. Okay, because uh, it's, it's, I don't know, it's a, a, like a comment because the girl from uh, English Corporativo was pushing me about the platform. And, and now, I, yesterday, I couldn't be in class, right? But I was with the uh, doubt because, you know, she was pushing me, pushing me, pushing me on Saturday uh, about the sections, and that I don't know why. Because as far as I'm concerned, I think this week is uh, for five section and also the final exam, right? That is. But correct. she was pushing me in order to in order to add the platform, and I don't know why. In in your platform is registered. You do number one, two, three, and four. Or All the units and and, and for uh, for Thursday, so uh, what's strange for me because she was she told me uh, that I didn't take in a serious way my course and something like that, but you know that I am here every day and I do uh, I have done my exercise right and, and I think I don't know I don't know why because uh, I have. I have taken this in a serious way, right? But, but she said, you need to be serious. So I don't know why. Maybe it's another Cesar. Mm, I'm not sure, but is okay. Yeah. For me, teacher. Is this, is this same case for me? Saturday. 
So so I'm not I, I don't know because the information is for third week you need to complete the four section right and right. for last week you need to complete the five section and also the final test so but but she told me you need to complete the platform this array at 9 a.m you need to complete your section at 9 a.m so what so uh, always the, always they are are the same oh so i, I didn't know also, I didn't know. I didn't know that, but maybe because in, in the, the last courses, uh, another guy uh, was uh, taking my advantage, uh, my ad advance, right? But I don't know why she is is pushing me a lot. But is is the is the same case for you guys? Uh, I don't know. Uh, it's okay for me because it's for all people. I I, I was thinking that just for me. I don't know. It's the same for the others. Everybody receives. Yes. Yes. I mean, Actually, yes, me then too. It, then uh, it's no problem. Then ignore. <laughs> yes, yes, because the information. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes. I, I was thinking that just for me, right? Oh. So, so uh -huh. it's personal. <laughs> uh -huh. No, it's not personal. It's only the job. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I respond. Uh, okay. Thank you all. Always. Me All too. Um, no more. Okay. Hey, thank no you. More. Uh huh. Or... Yes. Okay. Thanks. Okay. But now you know, Cesar. It's not personal. It's for the class. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So now with our partners, five point seven. Remember, uh, you have to write the correct tag and use the correct pronoun. Uh you, I, we, etc. Okay, let's go. Eneda, Luis, are you having some problems? Luis, you connected, Eneda? Yes. Okay, let's try, Eneda. Okay, now we are share. Okay. And then the last part is tags. So let's watch the last video. Listen and practice. 
use following intonation in tough questions when you're giving an opinion and want to know if the other person agrees. Intonation in tag questions. Part A. Listen and practice. Use falling intonation in tag questions when you are giving an opinion and want to know if the other person agrees. Ethnic conflict is a terrible problem, isn't it? They should make guns illegal, shouldn't they? Before we go, we want to remind you that you may play the audio programs, explanations, and videos as many times as you need to. It is always a good idea to practice with your friends. One more time, let's listen. Listen and practice. Use falling intonation in tough questions when you're giving an opinion and want to know if the other person agrees. Intonation in tag questions. Part A. Listen and practice. Use falling intonation in tag questions when you are giving an opinion and want to know if the other person agrees. Ethnic conflict is a terrible problem, isn't it? They should make guns illegal, shouldn't they? Before we go, we want to remind you that you may play the audio programs, explanations, and videos as many times as you need to. It is always a good idea to practice with your friends. Okay, good. So, just the idea for the tag, for the pronunciation. Hi, welcome back. Let me ask you something. Learning English is easy, isn't it? I thought so. Tag questions for opinions. Affirmative statement plus negative tag. Health insurance is really expensive, isn't it? There are lots of criminals in the city, aren't there? Graffiti makes everything look ugly, doesn't it? Colleges should provide daycare, shouldn't they? Negative statement plus affirmative tag. Child care isn't cheap, is it? There aren't enough police, are there? People don't care about our city, do they? You can't find affordable child care, can you? I will begin the explanation telling you when to use tag questions. We use tag questions when we expect someone to agree with us or when we're asking for confirmation. This is how tag questions work. When a statement is affirmative, the tag question is negative. For example, learning English is easy, isn't it? Learning English is our positive statement. And isn't it is our tag question in negative. We may also do it the other way around. Negative statement, affirmative tag question. Child care isn't cheap, is it? I also want to explain that when we use be as the main verb, be is also used in tag question. Similarly, we use the same model in the main clause and the tag. For example, we should pay our taxes, shouldn't we? However, simple present and past verbs use the auxiliary verb in the tag. For example, graffiti makes everything look ugly, doesn't it? You found affordable childcare, didn't you? Hi, I'm sure you understood this topic, didn't you? In case you didn't, feel free to ask your teacher and watch the explanation if needed. Okay, so I hope that's great. Let's check everybody's answers. We should have clear ideas of what is the correct tag. As you can see, all we're looking at is the auxiliary that is there. Whatever auxiliary is there, we put in the opposite. That's all we have to do. Opposite tags.
Okay, let's take a look. Number one, you can't escape advertising nowadays. Can you? Mm -hmm. Can you? Can you? Can you, teacher? Uh, thank you, thank you very much. Can you? Good. Number two. There aren't in are there are there good we're using just like the question three oh. noise pollution is a major problem here isn't, isn't it? it isn't it isn't it good there are more and more homeless people on the street are there good aren't there <laughs> yes aren't there the sales tax should be lowered. Shouldn't it? Shouldn't it? Good, we're getting better, we're getting others. Mm -hmm. It isn't easy to save money these days. Is it? Is it? Is it? Okay. Downsizing is hurting the economy. Isn't it? Okay. Teacher, repeat, repeat. <laughs> downsizing. No, downsizing. <laughs> Down, down, side. Down, side. Okay. Mm -hmm. Remember, downsizing is reduce. For example, the business, the your business, you have three workers. Oui, but you don't have enough business. You need to reduce. You have two people, or one person. This is downsizing. Reduce the business. Mm -hmm. Or just me. Uh huh. Typical in El Salvador, right? Downsizing. Mm hmm. All right, the city doesn't do enough for stray animals. That's it. That's it. Very nice. Okay. So I see that with a little bit of practice and the extra, we understand completely how to do tag questions. Tag questions, you can see all of those are correct. Great job. Any questions, anything that is not clear, you don't understand? No. All right. Cesar, did you have a question? No, everything is clear. Ah, everything is clear. Great. So now we're going to just learn, listen a little bit about the pronunciation. Just of how is the pronunciation for tag questions. Listen and practice. Use following intonation in tag questions when you're giving an opinion and want to know if the other person agrees. Intonation in tag questions. Part A. Listen and practice. Use falling intonation in tag questions when you are giving an opinion and want to know if the other person agrees. Ethnic conflict is a terrible problem, isn't it? They should make guns illegal, shouldn't they? Before we go, we want to remind you that you may play the audio programs, explanations, and videos as many times as you need to. It is always a good idea to practice with your friends. Okay. So just so that you could hear a little bit of the pronunciation. And now today we have our last activity to complete Unit 5. Why it's important? Because today we complete Unit 5, tomorrow we have our test, so that way on Thursday we are finished. We are not worried, we are not, oh, I have to do this, I need to do that. No, we are complete. Thursday, if we don't finish the test, is no problem. We have one more day, but we are going to try to finish today and tomorrow all of the exercises, okay? Let's begin by reading together. Here we have a, ah, again. But now they- they, now they put the correct right. questions, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> finally. <laughs> but now we have the correct questions. Okay, all right. So who didn't read? Because today is your opportunity to read. <laughs> who is going to read the first part? 
the recently to protest. Mm -hmm. I think it was Raquel, right? Raquel didn't read the last time. So mm -hmm. recently to protest. Morena, I don't remember Morena. So Morena from why to it. Mm -hmm. Elvis is very quiet. Elvis is very quiet. So Elvis is going to read the paragraph over here with the essay from the latest to essay. <gasps> Laura. I think today is Laura's first day in the class. I never, I don't remember Laura. Nunca la había visto, but today, yes. Okay, so Laura from some to plagiarized. Mm -hmm. Then we have um, Marvin. Marvin is going to read from Aldo to deserve. Mm -hmm. and, okay, the, teacher. and the last person is going to be Santiago. Santiago is the last person from so to that. Okay, Raquel, you ready? Yeah, can you zoom? Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, recently a biology teacher in Kansas, I stay in the, Ameri in the American Midwest, made national and ever international news after Christine Pelton discovered that he took 28 of, of her uh, 118 students had plagiarized part of a major project. She gave them falling grades. Although this way the school policy the students' parents complained. The school board direct, direct Mr. Felton to change the punishment. They told her that a 600 points should be taken from the offenders rather than the entire 1,800 1, points. Mr. Pelton resigned in protest. Okay, thank you. Wait, one moment. Raquel, practice a little bit more the numbers. And here, this is not an R, so we're going to pronounce miss. Miss, miss. miss. Right, you have, yeah. Thank you very much. All right, the next one. Why did this become such a significant story? Story? Mm -hmm. Perhaps it is because so many people feel strongly about what is right and wrong. Although the incident may some be forgotten, it raises some important question. What is plagiarism? How serious is it? Good intonation only focus on the pronunciation. Plagiarism? Plagiarism? Serious. Serious. Okay, good. Thank you, teach. Thank you. Okay. There we go. Okay. The simplest form of plagiarism occurs when someone copies material without giving credit to the source. However, there are also more serious forms such as when a student pays someone else to write an essay. Good, pronunciation, essay. Essay. Good, thank you very much. Some people claim, read the teacher, can I hear? Some people play some people claim that copying is necessary to do well in high in a school. They have released that their own words are not as good as someone else. Another common argument is that everyone does it, so it's not a big deal. In fact, it has been learned that even some highly respect categories including Martin Luther King Jr. have place stories. Okay, good. Laura, let's pronounce realized. Realized. 
plagiarized. Plagiarized. Okay, good. Thank you. Okay, I thought some people find reason to justify plagiarism. Other feel the is issue is clear cut. They feel is it normally warned and consider it stalling a thief of ideas rather rather than money. These people believe that students who plagiarize benefits on on fairly they, they receive a better ground better grade than they deserve deserve. These are good. Okay, good. We're going to work a little bit more. Practice plagiarism. Plagiarism. Plagiarize. Plagiarize. Good. Thank you, Mark. And the last one. So what about the incident in Kansas? Was the original punishment too severe? Do the teacher have the right to tell students and parents what is right or wrong. Miss Pelton would probably say that the job of a teacher is to do exactly that. Okay, thank you guys so much. Um, are there any words that we don't know or any words that are not clear? Ooh, maybe a little bit bigger like this. Mm -hmm. Any parts that are a little confusing or you're not sure? No, it's okay. All right, let's take a look. Yes, it's okay. Which one? Aleli? No, teacher, I am clear. Ah, okay, perfect. Okay, great. So, in here, we are putting down it in order. Number one, the first activity. Number six, the last activity. So number one, what happened first? We have many sentences. The teacher's story appeared in the national news. Six. Number six, this is the last. The teacher gave students failing grades. Two. Maybe number two, okay. The student's parents were angry. Three. Three, okay. The teacher left her job. Five. Okay. The group of students cheated on an assignment. One. And the school board told the teacher to change the scores. Four. Four. Okay, interesting. So let's check, very good comprehension. Uh, very nice. As you can see here, we put the numbers, but when you put into the platform, please write the word, write the word, not the number. If you put the number, it's not going to be correct. You need to write the word for each one. Okay. ¿Cómo que viene el agua? Yes. In this moment. Uh -huh. Very good. So, <laughs> finish. So why don't we continue a little bit too, and then the exam, okay? <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. I uh, see you tomorrow. Also you here, tomorrow, guys. Bye. Good evening. Thank you tomorrow. Thank you. Tomorrow. Okay, I see. <laughs> oh.